friends, welcome to Rajesh Data Engineering. In this video, I am going to explain one of the Databricks inbuilt variable which is SQL DF. What is SQL DF? SQL DF is one of the special variable in Databricks notebook development. But what is the use of that? Using SQL DF, we can avoid manual effort while working in Python and SQL. In Databricks um, development, we often switch between languages SQL and Python. And with the help of this SQL DF, we can access SQL result directly in the Python cell. Currently, in case we have to access SQL result in a PySpark data frame or Python, then we have to manually convert that SQL output into PySpark. For that, we have to use a syntax like spark.sql uh, spark or spark.table. With the introduction of SQL DF, we don't need to manually uh, convert SQL into PySpark. It is done automatically with this inbuilt uh, Databricks variable. So when we are uh, executing any SQL statement on top of a table, which is part of Unity Catalog or Hive Meta Store, then the previously executed SQL queries output is assigned to this special variable, which means even though we have executed SQL uh, query uh, in SQL cell uh, recently, the same output can be directly accessed in the Python cell. So for that, we can use SQL TF variable. At the end of this session, I am going to show the demo. So you will come to know how to use and how it works. Right. So coming to advantages, when we are going to use this SQL TF, we can avoid uh, manual uh, uh, conversion. That is one thing. Second thing is we can reduce the piece of uh, code. So which is going to be very simple for read uh, for maintenance. And also it is improving workflow efficiency because we are avoiding extra code which is not needed to be executed by Spark Engine anymore. Right. And it's very important to understand the limitations of these variables before uh, using in our uh, development. First limitation is this SQL DF variable is not available for Databricks notebook where we are using SQL warehouse instead of cluster. Basically, Databricks is providing two different types of uh, compute. One is cluster, another one is SQL warehouse. And this SQL DF is applicable only for the development where we are using cluster. In case we are using SQL warehouse, then this variable is not available for that. And coming to the second uh, limitation, this SQL DF, this inbuilt variable is available only for clusters where Databricks runtime is at least 13.3 and above. So in case we are using the previous versions of runtime clusters, then this variable will not work. And um, the next limitation is in case we are using a cache or uncache in our uh, select statement, in our SQL statement, then the result will not be captured in the SQL DF variable. So we have to be careful in case we are using these keywords, then that result will not be available. And one last uh, limitation is this SQL DF that can be used in Python cell without any problem. But in case we have to use the same in our SQL cell, like select star from underscore SQL DF. In case we have to use this data set as a table, then we have to use Databricks runtime version at least 14.3 onwards. So these are the limitations. I hope you understood what is SQL DF and what is the uh, advantages of uh, this variable. Let's get uh, started with the demo. I have logged into my Databricks environment. My cluster is up and running. And the first cell, I'm going to create a sample data frame. And based on that, I'm going to create a view. Then it is going to act like a table. So in our actual real-time projects, we are going to have uh, Delta tables, which is part of Unity Catalog or Hive Meta Store. So when we are performing uh, analytics uh, or uh, some analysis on top of those tables, that result will be stored in this special variable. So to start with, I'm going to create a sample view. So in the first cell, I have created the code to create a sample view, which is called employees, which is having four fields, ID, name, department, and salary. Let me execute this cell. It's completed and I'm displaying. So this is uh, the output of my view currently. Now let's say I'm going to perform certain uh, data analytics based on SQL statement. So here, this is a Python uh, cell, a Python notebook. So in this cell, I'm going to use the SQL statement. So I'm using the magic comment percentage SQL. Then I'm writing a simple select statement, which is basically getting the count for each department. So let me execute. 
here we can see the output there are three unique departments and we are having the respective employee count for each department right now once we have executed this sql statement this result will be assigned to the system variable sql tf so it can be referenced directly in the python cell here i am not using any magic command simply i am putting display sql df let me execute here we can see the output so whatever the query we are executing the result will be stored within this variable and it can be acted as a data frame inbuilt data frame so we can use display command to display the output of that and in case i am going to execute another sql statement which means this uh, special variable will be reassigned which means this result will be overwritten. So in case I have to keep this output into some other uh, data frame, then what I can do is I can manually assign this variable. Once I have executed this query and I want to retain the output of this one into certain data frame, then manually I can assign. That is what I am doing in the next result. Here, SQL DF, that is a system variable. I am assigning that result into result TF. Why? Because if I am going to execute another SQL statement, this result will be overwritten. Now I have captured this uh, result into another data frame. And also, I can perform any number of transformation in parallel uh, on top of this SQL DF. That is not going to affect the SQL DF. The SQL DF simply it will capture, it will hold the previous executed query result. Right here, if you look at here, I have assigned SQL DF to result DF, and on top of that, I am apply filter where employee count greater than 3 which means engineering 4 that is going to be the output of this top department let me execute this so here i am displaying the original data frame and also the filtered one here we can see both right now let me execute another sql statement it's a simple uh, select from the entire table right this is the output now let me uh, view, let me display the output of SQL DF once again. Now, this is not going to give the analytics uh, query of our previous uh, each department along with the number of employees. It is going to give the complete table output. Why? Because yes, the our most recent SQL statement is this one. Uh, there was no failure, or we didn't use any cache shape. That's the reason this output will be assigned to SQL DF, right? And at the same time, if I'm going to display result df which we captured earlier still there is no impact to that because manually we assigned that uh, result to another data frame which is called result df and this sql df can be directly used in the sql cell also but for that as i mentioned the limitation we have to use uh, the runtime version 14.3 i am using community edition here i don't i have certain limitation that's the reason i cannot use that directly if i'm going to execute it is going to throw error but in case you are using uh, a premium version with the 14.3 or greater than uh, runtime version of cluster, then you can use this as well. I hope you understood how uh, SQL TF works. What is the benefit of that? You know, how we can uh, seamlessly integrate between SQL to Python during our development. I hope uh, you understood. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell button for more content like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.